Hello everyone and welcome back. Dom here and on this video I'm going to show you how you can use the DSP effects on the URT range of interfaces to record with zero latency using compression, EQ, amp simulators and reverbs. The great thing about the URT range of interfaces is that all these DSP effects can be recorded with zero latency or you can just monitor through them if you want to have a nice vibe when you're recording but you actually want to record the clean sound well you can actually do that with these interfaces now of course you can use the DSP mix effects app on your computer or your iPad to control these effects and change the different settings but of course if you're using Cubase then you get all these things integrated into the Cubase mixer under the hardware tab. So let me show you how you can do it in Cubase. So now we are in Cubase and as you can see I have the mixer and I have my inputs on. I have the URT2 right here so I have two mic inputs in the front and as you can see this is my input number one and this is my input number two. So for every one of these channels I have my face reversal right here so I don't have to go into a separate app I can just go right here and face reverse the channel. I can also apply a high pass filter very very quickly. Again I don't have to leave Cubase ever. Everything is integrated and of course I can add the effects right here, the DSP effects. So these run with no latency. So let's try and do this. I'm going to turn on the effects like this and when I have it in this position that means I can monitor through the effects but I'm not recording them. I'm recording them dry. So if I want to actually record them I can go like this and now I'm actually recording the effects. So let's try a few effects on a guitar sound. So let's pick up this guitar and let's start recording some of these sounds. So I'm going to just wear my headphones right here. So first let's try the sound of this guitar completely clean without the transformers engaged. And now let's engage the transformers. So immediately I get a richer sound with more harmonics without. So now let's try the first effect that we have right here and this is the Morphing Channel Strip which is a very versatile processor because it has compression, it has EQ and you have all the controls that you need from attack, release, ratio, you have your knee, you have your drive for the compressor, all these things are there and of course we have a very very nice and responsive EQ. But the great thing is that when you are in a recording session and you want to dial in a sound very very quickly this can help you get so many different sounds straight out of the box. So for example that's completely flat with with a little bit of compression and let's see how it sounds. Let's pull down the gain a little bit. So that's a very gentle amount of compression. Now let's try and use the morphing knob right here and see how many different sounds I can get out of this guitar. Let's try this first. It's a little bit more mid-range. Now we're going to get a bump in the mids. Let's move a little bit towards this setting and this is like a smiley curve. And let's move to this setting now. We're going to get a little bit of low end bump. And let's move towards this setting now. This is going to enhance the top end. So as you can tell, so many different sounds just by twisting this morph knob right there. Really, really incredible. Now the great thing is you don't have to commit to this. You can just monitor through this and then you can record the sound completely dry. And if you want, at a later stage, you can use this same morphing channel strip to add these effects and this works natively in Cubase. That's a great, great thing. Now let's try the other effects and we have four guitar simulators right there. So the first one is the clean one and it sounds really, really nice. Let me show you. Now of course I can add chorus.
and also vibrato. Now let's add some distortion. Now let's dial back the distortion and let's add some reverb to this sound. So with the URRT interfaces we also have some really really nice DSP reverbs and these are the Yamaha Rev X reverbs. Really really beautiful algorithm. So let me play this for you. Let me add back the vibrato. I really like the vibrato on this one. And now, of course, if I want to, I can change the algorithm to, let's say, a plate. So now, of course, the reverb changes, and I can change the reverb time, as you can see here. The pre-delay, the decay, and the room size. So let's try the plate algorithm. So now let's remove the reverb and let's try and add the second guitar amp simulation, which is the crunch. Now let's try the third amp right there, which is the lead amp. And the last one is the drive model, and this has five amp taps, so let's try it out. Let's go to the second one. The third one. The fourth one, the Vintage 2. The Modern one. And now the sixth one, very high gain, this one. So as you can tell, during the recording stage, the DSP effects can help you get a very quick sound and monitor with great effects straight out of the box with zero latency. But of course, all these effects are available for you in native form inside Cubase or any DAW, which means you can use as many as you want in your mix. There's no limit. So let me show you, for example, how we can use the morphing channel strip on this synth bass that I've recorded right here. So let's play this back. And as you can see now, I can find the morphing channel strip in Cubase and I can select this and here it is. Now this morphing channel strip runs natively in your DAW, which means if I want to mix with it, I can use as many instances as I want. There's no limit. So now I can go and enhance this synth bass sound. 
so I can say I want uh, some low end. Maybe some mids. And see how responsive that is. This is an incredible EQ. Maybe I want to compress this bass a little bit more. And of course I can still use the morphing wheel right here. So if I had a sub bass, maybe I would like this setting because it gives me quite a bit of mids, but then if I want to use this as a sub bass more, I can just go to that setting. So as you can see, really amazing sounding effects and the fact that you can use them natively in your DAW is a huge advantage because in a mixing environment, you might need quite a few instances of these plugins and the fact that they're native allows you to do that. So there you go, guys. That's how you can use the DSP effects on the URT series to record with zero latency, but also when you're mixing and producing to actually enhance your tracks, enhance your recordings with these nice effects. Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, make some great music.